So I take it you've already heard me mention about writing down goals, writing down uh, daily. This is daily. You want to be doing this at least twice a day, writing down your goals, long-term goals, short-term goals. So you've already got that message. I've already shared that before. But writing down goals, you want to do it twice a day. Do it fast, do it efficient, but have clarity in what you're writing, know what you want. The next step is, if you are not filling out notepads and notepads of stuff that you're doing on a daily basis, if you're not writing out things that you need to do, places you need to go, people you need to speak to, things that are important, and I mean genuinely important, things are going to pop up and you need to handle. Very often people write down things that aren't important. They'll write down what they want for, for dinner, what they want for lunch. I'm not talking about that. I mean, you write down the things that are popping up in your head that you know you need to get done, that you might forget. My, my day-to-day schedule changes. And if you're doing anything like most people are in this year, in the years that are coming, it's going to be fast pace, a lot of changes. And you got to be quick, on the move, and adaptable. That means you've got to be writing down everything that you need to do, everything that's popping up hundreds of things in a day you got to know how to be able to move correctly to monitor what's going on what's going to be changing and um check it out dog right here what's up and um funny story a dog walked home with me one day i was out walking doing my morning walk and a dog not my dog pops up puts its nose on my hand as i'm walking i could hear it walking behind me and i'm thinking i look at it and it was in between, it could have been the most majestic dog or uh, something you didn't want, want following you. So anyway, I just kept walking. I didn't, didn't really pay any attention to it, cross the road. Dog crosses the road as I cross it. So I cross the road again and a car comes, the dog stops, let the car pass and all. It was getting on like a human and I kept on walking. Next minute it follows me for about a mile and starts waiting outside my house as I'm standing there. So I go in and it's just waiting there like it's my dog. So anyway, I find the, the wee name collar on it and ring its owner and bring it back. Just a strange, strange thing that happens on a day-to-day basis. But anyway, so that dog, epic dog by the way, such a dog. Funny though. This, this goes to show you, I think dogs are getting smarter because I remember back in the day, dogs just kind of drank, drank water, went to the toilet, ate food, didn't do much else, wagged their tail. This dog watched me the whole time. And I remember looking out the window and this head would be facing the other way and it would pop around. Like this dog was on a different level. And um, I gave it water. Give it the best of water. This is filtered water through in the best of salt and all in it, thinking this dog's going to get what it, what it needs. End up pissing over the house. Basically to say, fuck you, I thought that was food. And uh, to get back on the story of writing down on your day-to-day basis. If you want to be successful, and I don't care where you start at, if your day-to-day basis is a 40-hour a week job, working out in the morning, and trying to stick to a healthy lifestyle. You've got to still be writing stuff down. Write down how to make your day more efficient. Write down how to make things better, things quicker. You'll set yourself up for success. But as you keep going, as you keep doing more, you will think, I don't care how good your brain is, if you get hit by three things in a row, what you were thinking about originally severely gets reduced. Your chances of remembering it clearly and to the, to the absolute utmost that you were already holding that thought at, you've got to write stuff down. It means you can come back to it. it. means you can improve on it. Just start getting into that habit. Keep a notepad with you. You don't need to be carrying it everywhere you go, but have one in the office, have one in the house, have one in the car. If you can keep a wee notepad on your phone, for example, just type away on what you're doing. This will set you up for a different level of success. And it's so simple. I read Sam Walton's book. Says he went around with a notepad everywhere that he went. He had a notepad in his hand. We'd walk around other stores and write down. Now, how simple does that sound? How childish does that sound? Walking about other stores and writing down with a notepad. People think their bosses, they're way beyond this stuff. Oh, I don't need that. Oh, I've done this. I've got that. Don't underestimate how 
um, childish these people get on, how weak they get on, how unresourceful they get on. It takes, it takes the simple stuff, but hard grit determination to get to that point. I advise you right now, get a notepad and start to really write down um, what it is you're doing, what you want to do, what you want to improve on, and that will take you to the next level.